Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's Web Wiz video number 19, where once again I take you on a very quick tour through some of my favourite mathematical websites. Now if I were to ask most of my students to name five famous mathematicians, if I was lucky I'd get Pythagoras, I may also get Andrew Wiles, but that's only because I make my students sit through my favourite BBC Fermat's Theorem documentary every single Christmas, which isn't exactly the fun lesson they had in mind. And then, if they were trying to name the other three, they'll be scraping the barrel. Uh, last week, one of my students asked me if Stephen Hawking invented maths, so that's the kind of level I'm working with. So, fortunately, to the rescue comes this absolutely excellent website, which is Maths History. So if you Google Maths History, uh, one of the first links you get is the Wikipedia. But if you scroll down, this is the one I'm interested in, Mac Tutor History of Mathematics. So give that a click. And there's the website. Now, if you haven't visited this website before, um, basically, it covers, as you'd imagine, the full history of maths, but it's rampacked full of stuff that I've never heard of, but it's absolutely fascinating. The place to start, I would advise, is this, Mathematicians of the Day. Now, what the website does is every mathematician, famous or not quite so famous, who was born on this day and died on this day is listed. Um, so you get a load of names there, the vast majority of which are not familiar to me. Um, but one caught my eye here, Porter. You give him a little click, there he is. Uh, Gian Battista della Porta, <laughs> there he is. Um, now he's an Italian scholar who worked on crypt cryptography, but this one caught my eye. He claimed to be the inventor of the telescope, even though he doesn't appear to have constructed one before the far more famous Galileo. Now if that hooks you in a little bit, then you can click here for the full Mac Tutor biography of Mr. Della Porta, and you get all the information there. Now what's really nice is this is carefully referenced with all the footnotes, and if you scroll to the bottom, then you can follow up those lists of references. You can get mathematicians born in the same country as Mr. Della Porta. However, this is a lovely little feature, this, uh, cross-referencing. So somewhere up there, it mentions the classic square in the circle. If you give this a click, you're then taken to an article all about square in the circle. So it's all cross-referenced and interlinked, which I'm a massive fan of. However, it gets better than that because uh, of most of the well-known mathematicians and some of the less well-known, you get lovely little posters. So there's our mate Della Porta again. Give him a click. There's a lovely portrait of Mr. Della Porta that you can um, print out and stick up around your classroom, which is very, very nice. However, there is one extra little feature of this website that I'm a massive fan of, and that is its Twitter feed. Now, if you go to Google and you Google uh, Twitter and you go for at maths, history. Now you don't have to be a member of Twitter for this uh, to, to view their feed, but if you are, I would strongly recommend you follow them. So let's just have a look at their Twitter page. Give this a little click and there you go. Now if you are one of the lucky 3,266 followers, of which I'm proud to be one, every single day you get a tweet to the mathematician of the day, either someone who's died or was born on that day. And if one of them catches your eye, like uh, Mr. Porter did for me, you can then just click on the uh, little short hyperlink there and it'll take you to the biography page of that mathematician. So that's excellent. I've used it in the past for uh, quick starters, quick plenaries, or little discussion activities, because I think it's so important that students understand the richness of the history of this wonderful subject and there's loads of great stories loads of characters out there and if you can get students more interested in the subject then I'm all in favor of it so there it is so google maths history and you'll find this wonderful website and if you're a twitter user then follow at maths history and I promise you won't be disappointed and that is this week's web Wiz video I'll be back with a fresh one next time bye for now